Hi guys, my name is Amanda and I'm from 6th grade and today I'm going to be telling you the Russian story of Puchika Churika. Once upon a time, long, 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 long ago, there was a ginormous tundra. And in that tundra, everything was white because everything was covered in snow. In that big, vast tundra, there was a small little tent. And in that small little tent, there was a little, just a small little family. And in that small little family, there was Puchika Churika, his big brother, his mama, and his papa. <laughs> One day, Puchika Chika's big brother and his parents had to go out hunting. So Puchika Chika had to stay home all alone. Before they left, Puchika Chika's mom said, Puchika Chika, I left you some porridge in a big porridge bowl. You can use the big porridge spoon to eat it. And remember to behave yourself and never leave the tent. And then they all left. So Puchika Chika was left all alone in his house. Well, technically a tent. <laughs> then he just started thinking, hmm, what should I do? Then he saw his little pile of figurines. So he walked over and picked it up and he started playing around with it. After a while, he got bored again. So he looked around, hmm, what should I do? Then he had a thought, I can tell myself stories. He told himself old folk tales that his parents once told him. But you can all tell yourself the same old stories ever so many times, right? So he got bored again. This time he was also slightly hungry. So he walked over to the big porridge bowl and he picked up the big porridge spoon and he remembered his mom's words. So he started eating and eating and eating. It was the best porridge ever. He was so happy, but sadly he couldn't finish it because he didn't have a big tummy. So he only ate a little bit and then he scooped up a big spoonful and he placed down the spoon. And he said, thank you Mr. Spoon for giving me the porridge. Then he picked inside the big porridge pot and sure enough, there was a whole bunch of porridge left. So he said, thank you, Mr. Pot, for giving me the porridge. Then he walked around, hmm, what should I do next? Then he saw the big tent pole. It was the perfect place to carve his name. So th that's exactly what he did. He bought up his little pocket knife and he started carving his name. P-U-C-H-I-K-A-C-H-U-R-I-K-A. Puchika Chika. After he was done with that, he started carving a little deer. First he started with the head, then the two little ears, then the neck, the body, the four little legs, and the fluffy little tail. Just as he was fi finishing it up, he heard a ruffling sound outside the tent. It was a stranger, so he stayed quiet because he knew that he shouldn't give himself away. The stranger said, Hmm, is Puchika Chirika home alone today? Puchika Chirika realized the voice. <gasps> it's Old Man Whiskers! <laughs> and he knew that he was up to no good. So Old Man Whiskers said, Hmm, I wonder if Puchika Chirika's big brother is home today. If he isn't, I'm going to go find him and give him such a scare. Then he said, no, my big brother isn't home today. He's out hunting a big gray bird. And he's not going to be home until supper. And if you were to ever find him, then I'll chop you in half, and half of you will fly down into the ground, and then the other half will fly up high into the sky. Then Old Man Whiskers asked, hmm, I wonder if Puchika Chirika's mama is home today. Then Puchika Chirika said, no, my mama isn't home today. She's out hunting some fish. And if she were to ever find you, then she'll chop you in half, and half of you will go deep down into the ground, and the other half will fly up high into the sky. Then Old Man Whiskers said, hmm, I wonder if Puchika Chirika's papa is home today. Then Puchika Chirika said, no, he isn't. He's out hunting a big black bird. And if he were to ever find you, Chop you in half, and guess what? Half of you will fall deep down into the ground, and the other half will fly up high into the sky. The old man of said, Hmm, that must mean that Puchika Chirika is home alone. Puchika Chirika realized oh, he had given himself away. So he ran, and then he ducked under a big pile of skin. Just in time, old man of walked in. He can't find Puchika Chirika, so he asked the big parched spot and the big parched spoon. Do you know where Puchika Chirika is? They both said, we're not telling you where Puchika Chirika is because he gave us porridge and it tasted really, really good. So he looked to the big tent pole. Do you know where Puchika Chirika is? And the tent pole said, yes, I do. And I will tell you because he coughed on my back this morning and it really, really hurts. So he pointed over to the big pile of skins and he gave Puchika Chirika away. Old man just walked over. He lifted up the top flap grabbed Pachika Trika and swallowed him in one big bite. He was really proud of himself, actually, because he swallowed a kid whole. So he was just sitting there in the middle of the tent, smiling. After a while, he got a small little tummy ache. Then it got worse. 
and worse and worse until it was the worst tummy ache he had ever gotten in his life. And he was moaning and groaning inside of the tent. What was actually happening was that Puchika Chica was inside with his little pocket knife carving a door on his stomach. <laughs> so after a while, he carved and carved and carved until it was done. And then he just simply pushed it open and walked out. Old Man Whiskers saw what happened. <gasps> he was shocked, so he ran away. Puchika Chica thought, hmm, finally, Old Man Whiskers ran away and I was safe. But then he realized he owed the tent pool an apology. So he turned around and he said, I'm so sorry, Mr. Tentpole, for carving on your back. I didn't know it would have hurt that much. Then the Tentpole said, it's OK. I'm sorry for giving you away, too. And so they were both even. That night, Chica Chica's parents and his big brother came home. Come and help me carry this big gray bird I've hunted, said Chica Chica's big brother. Chica Chica said, I can't. I'm all yucky. Then Chica Chica's mama said, come help me carry all the fish that I've caught today. Puchika Chika said, no, I can't. I'm all yucky. Then Puchika Chika's dad came home, and he said, Puchika Chika, come help me carry this big black bird I've gotten. Then Puchika Chika said, no, I can't. I'm all yucky. And so they all went into the tent, and sure enough, Puchika Chika was all covered in goo and muck, and he was all yucky. So they helped clean him up, and that night, they just ate dinner as Puchika Chika told them the tale of what happened to him that day. And Old Man Whiskers, he never, ever, ever returned to the tent ever again. Because let's be honest here, if you were to eat something and it gave you such a terrible tummy ache, you probably won't come back for more. The end.